Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, it's Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to read voltages on a power supply using a digital voltmeter. Right here, I got a Fluke 12 multimeter. It reads capacitors, resistors, diodes, transistors, AC, and DC voltages. All right, so we're going to put it on DC. Well, actually, we're going to put it on AC voltages. Here's the V with the squiggle next to it. Anytime you're working on electronics, you can get shot. Work at your own risk. TV is plugged in, it's live. Do not touch anything metal. You can get shot. I'm going to set this up right here. Stay, boy. Stay. Okay. Now, we're going to plug in the power. This is where you can get electrocuted. All right, now it's in DC, uh, AC volts. TV is turned on. All right, and now we're going to read the voltage coming in. Uh, the power cord voltage coming in should be 120 volts AC. In the United States, 120 AC is good. It's reading 119, 118. It's pretty good. Um, it goes through that fuse right there, goes through the bridge rectifier right here, converts it to AC to DC volts. These are filters and they store energy. These are the capacitors. Goes through here and then over here converts it to DC volts. See, and this DC, uh, this is a Samsung Plasma TV by the way. Now, LCD and Plasma TVs do have a power supply and they both do have uh, video main boards. But an LCD TV has inverter boards and a backlight. Whereas a plasma TV has an X main board for the picture and a Y main board for the picture. And buffer boards that are connectly connect the buffer boards are connected directly to the plasma panel itself. So if you got a black bar on the screen going across, I would check out your buffer boards. If you got uh, a pitch, if you got sound but no picture, check out your Y sustain board. And that's pretty common fixes. But mainly, the number one common fix is a power supply. All right, so I'm going to show you how to test your power supply. This also works, you know, it'll apply to uh, LCD or plasma TVs, checking out your voltages on a power supply. So the, the number one thing that goes bad on a power supply on an LCD or plasma TV is blown capacitors, swollen capacitors. They have a little bubble on top. But sometimes a bad capacitor may look good, so you gotta like be careful of that. Now, let's go ahead and check out our voltages. So we got an AC coming in, it's good. Let's check out your DC. The power plug for the Y sustain board, the power plug for the X main board, power plug for the buffer, and power plug for the main boards, and the main video board. The logic boards, I meant to say. So. Right here is a chart and a diagram. It tells you what voltages sh you should be reading on what pin. Now, you can download the schematic or diagram. I'll try to give you the link. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link below this video in the description so you know like, if you're having a hard time reading the voltages, you know, you can download the schematic hopefully for your TV model. Now, and you want to put the lead, the negative lead, right here on the chassis of the back plate of the plasma TV or a ground screw right here. See how it has that metal tab right there? I'll just put it right here because it's easier for me. Uh, you want to change it to DC, which is a V with a straight line. And then here's a test point right here, VSTP. In the TV world, TP means uh, test point, not toilet paper. All right, so VSTP is 207. The VS should read 207 DC volts, perfect. All right, so the Y board, let's see, the VS on the Y plug, Y sustain board plug, 207 volts. So the, um, the Y sustain board is getting the proper DC voltage. All right, let's check out the, um, the X main board, VS207. Um, so the X main board is getting the right voltage to power on. VA, it says VA right here. So it says VS right here next to it, and it says VS also next to it. It's all labeled on the board. 
Um, so let's go to where it says VA. VA right here on the chart says 63 volts DC. And as you can see, 62.6, it's pretty close. So the power going to the buffer boards is good. All right, let's go to the logic uh, power going to the logic boards. So it says 5.3, and you're reading 5.3 volts, which is good. And again, 5.3, and the next pin, 5.3, boom. Power supply looks like it's good. 12 volts going to the main board. 12 volts going to the main board. So it looks like the power supply is good on this TV. So if your TV turns on right away and turns off, I mean turns on and off right away, you know, sometimes that's from the blown capacitors. Or it could be from another board shorting out, preventing the TV from turning on and bursting up in flames. It's going into protect mode. So what you want to do is unplug, you know, the unplug one board at a time. So I unplug the X board, all right, and unplug the TV power. So unplug the TV for about like one minute. It's called a hard reset, by the way, when you do that. And then after you uh, plug it back in, now when you plug it back in and the TV does turn on, without this board, the X board plugged into the circuit, then you kind of like guess that it's pretty much a lot like it's you're troubleshooting basically. You kind of like assume that this board is preventing the power supply and the TV from turning on. So you want to work on that board. And usually, sometimes it's the capacitors bad on this board, or um, in some cases, uh, when I checked um, transistors on the heat sink, sometimes they go bad because the reason why it's on the heat sink, the transistor, is because it gets super hot and the heat sink absorbs the heat away from the transistor and sometimes it's not enough it, it just burns out over time so yeah check out the transistors on the heat sink because sometimes they short out on my Tampa Tech channel if you click on my TV playlist you can actually um, it, you know, my videos show you how to read transistors diodes capacitors you know a whole bunch of different things um, even you know how to solder and unsolder stuff hope, uh, I hope this helps you out uh, let me know if you have any further questions post a comment below and share like subscribe if you want. Thanks